What is going on my Drip Drive Shop here and welcome to the first Dragon Ball Super episode review on the channel. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. Dragon Ball Super episode 104 was the best episode so far in my opinion of the Universal Survival Art. It's just amazing. Let's hop into it. Okay, start first. We start with Dispo and he talking. You know, he he just introduces himself, saying, "I'm Dispo. I know you here of Universe Six. And Dispo tells Hit that I know about your time skip. And what's crazy is we everybody think he's bluffing. Everybody think he, Hit think he bluffing. Champa think he bluffing. And when Hit go for the time skip, Dispo just counter and punch him dead in the face. Everybody like what? Hit somebody, somebody other than Goku counter Hit's time skip. What's going on? We all think it's just a joke. Hit probably just messing around. Doing, you know, probably pulling a Goku. He messing around, not do, just taking it seriously. So, he tries it again. Dispo proves again and hits him again. And it was like, huh? What? What? Chompa even like, what? He got hit twice? And it turns out that he, um, Dispo can hear hit tense up when he do his time skip. So, he knows when to attack and counter. Or counter attack. So... He is kind of crippled right here because now that somebody else know how to counter his time skip, he got to think of some other techniques or other ways to get around him doing his counter his time skip. So they just fight and hit and Dispo just fight and they just fight him. And on top of the rock is Topo, Jiren, and the other dude that's on their team from, from their universe, you know, pri the uh, Pride Troopers. I don't know his name, but I just know he blew and he got like the, um, what's it called? The little, the, the you know how, um, how you guys? I don't know if you guys ever seen the um, BoJack and Bow movie, but you know how when Trunks was flying, that BoJack and the dude had did, 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 did like the little things with his fingers and wrapped it around Trunks. That's kind of like what he did. The dude from Universe Eleven. So they that, that's what he do. But they just up their way on the rock, and Jiren realized not Jiren, but yeah, Jiren just up there looking like you know he just observing like he always do. Got his arms crossed, just observing every fighter and seeing what they can do. Topo realized that he is not an ordinary fighter. He's actually just an extreme. He's a, he's a, a good fighter, and he realized that Hit is adapting to Dispo speed because Dispo can move faster than the speed of light, and he realized that Hit is adapting to it, and he know that eventually Hit is gonna probably find some way to counter and get around Dispo speed. So he tell the other dude that he's gonna have to jump in because when it flies, when it goes back to Hit and um, Dispo fighting, um, Topo says that. Because like I said, like I just said, Topo says that Hit is adapting to his speed and he's blocking all his vital points so Dispo can't attack him. And he tells us dude that he's gonna have to jump in. So Dispo over there just beating up it left and right, punching him in the stomach and the gut and the face and all that, and kicks him to a rock, and then he, he goes flying towards the edge. And Hit realized, oh crap, I'm at the edge of the ring, I gotta chill out. Dispo come flying ahead, hit full force, ready just to wham, knock him up the ring. And he used the, he used his um dimension move where he move, move dimensions and this will go fly right through him. So we Champa hit even me. I, I even thought that it was over. Dispo out the ring. And here comes Dispo friend with his little ropes from his fingers, Angie ropes. He saves Dispo, pull him back in, and Dispo had to thank him. Dispo like, who thanks? You had my back. And the dude told him that they gotta have to fight from now on together. So they both go at Dispo. Dispo charge at Hit, and they just fight. They fight, and they going back and forth. They going back and forth. Hit goes for a kick, and the dude uses his little his little ropes and catches Hit foot. So Hit knew that like what? Okay, it's two on one. So what am I gonna do in this situation? Dispo come flying full force, and who? And I, I forgot all about Khalifa and Kale. They just Khalifa and Kale. They just in the background watching. They was gonna help Hit, but Khalifa said nah, he got this until they realized he started getting beat up, and then. She was, and then Khalifa was gonna jump in until who comes in and save the day? You boys, Super Saiyan God Goku. Now, Super Saiyan God is one of my favorite transformations besides Super Saiyan 4. That's my other favorite transformation. But Super Saiyan God makes his triumphant return. In the manga, it came back when he used it in the Universal, Universe 6 or 7 arc and the Goku Black arc. He used it like twice in the manga. But this is the first time it came back in the anime. So I'm just so happy that they bring it back in the anime, because I was just waiting for them to bring it back in the anime. So, Goku come flying in, everybody just like, everybody just see Goku come flying in so fast, comes down with that big 
just like aura of Super Saiyan God blocking Dispo's punch. And he was like, no, Dispo was like, it's you. And he was like, son Goku, I need your help. And Goku was like, I ain't here to help you. I'm just seeing that you getting jumped. And Goku really like people getting jumped and gives me itch. So Goku and he got got that pick that perfect scene. They just it goes it goes up on their feet and it shows them just sitting there, just standing together. Goku got the Super Saiyan God all around his body. It was just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Goku, no, he tells he tells Goku that Dispo is his prey, and Goku said, "Yeah, it's trying to stop me and go for Dispo." But Goku don't realize that Dispo is faster than the speed of light, so. Dispo, boom, punch Goku, then Goku go flying, then Goku try to do instant transmission, but Dispo too fast for that. And Goku realized that he can't do instant transmission. So Goku and Dispo fighting, they fighting somewhere off, off somewhere. Then you got Hit and the other dude with the ropes, and Hit steps on the rope, and then he go, it make a little noise. And Hit looked down, and he was like, what was that? Like, he didn't say what was that, but he was just like, just thinking, what was that? And the dude told him not to come too close. And he realized that he said, so if I step on these ropes, it'll explode. And he was like, correct. So he was like, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to step on them. And he does that little shockwave punch that he did to Goku and hits him dead in the gut. And I'm like, oh, nice. And then Goku come flying back and he was like, you guys from Universe 11 are real tough and they'll give you a fight. And he was like, Goku, trade me spots, trade me opponents. So he go flying back. Him and Dispo fight, and him, him and Dispo finna clash, and we think they finna clash fishes, or somebody finna get a, a hit in. It's fun, it's so funny. Because he, he is an extraordinary fighter, and he realized that he just can't do time skip, because he know that Dispo's gonna dodge it, he know Dispo's gonna, he know how to counter it. So Hit plays it smart. Hit does something real smart that I kinda knew he's probably gonna do, but at the same time, I didn't know he was gonna do it. So Hit, he tricks Dispo, and he tricks him by, Tensing his muscles up so he can so Dispo thinks that he's gonna do a time skip and Hit doesn't do the time skip. Cause like I said, Dispo knows when Hit do the time skip, he tenses his muscles up. And when Hit tenses his muscles up, Dispo thought he was gonna go for time skip. And he 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 attacked and count he countered and attacked it, but Hit didn't do it and punched him down in the stomach. And Dispo realized that he Hit tricked him. And Hit just he not playing games no more. He really he hit because like he yeah we all know hit hit always got tricks up his sleeves and hit is just an amazing character. So hit tells Goku to watch out for the dudes exploring uh what's it called exploring like w w w w rope things. Goku powers up the Super Saiyan Blue and tells him too late for that and Goku just going full f full f blast like just full force all the way at him. His, his little ropes exploding. Goku just like d dodging them, and they all exploding. And dude called Goku a fool. Like I said, I don't know his name. If you know his name, let me know down in the comment section because I don't I don't know if, if they said his name or not. But the episode is just so far. I might have to go back and watch it again. But I'm not gonna get sidetracked. Goku go flying at him. Then he says, "You fool! Shoot more of them at him." Goku just dodge him, dodge him. I mean, him smacking him out the way, smacking him out the way. Then Goku punch him dead in his gut. He can't believe it because Goku. Flew through the attack. Then Hit and Goku just, I'm just, oh my gosh, this episode was so good. And then Goku, like I said, when Goku punched in the stomach, he sent him flying off the ring. No, 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 take that back. Goku punched in the stomach, and then Hit almost got, he got Dispo out the ring again, but Dispo got caught again, brung him back up, and then, yeah, and then the dude brung Dispo back up, and they had to retreat because it was a bad situation. They was both getting beat up. And another cool thing before Dispo went flying out the ring and all that, because he the, the, the way Dispo went flying out the ring, he and I love how they brought this animation back too, because you guys all remember it. And when Vegeta first went against hit, he punched he punched Vegeta in the stomach, and then he got the mess and hit um, Vegeta. He did the same thing to Dispo. I love how they brought two moves that Goku and Vegeta both got beaten like attacked by. And then the hit told Dispo, "You either gonna jump out the ring or I'm gonna knock you out the ring." And Dispo was not going. Dispo said, I'm never going to give up. Pride troopers don't give up. So he said, all right, picked him up by the ear and threw him. And then that's when his partner used the little rope things and brought him back up in the ring. Like I said, I'm sorry. This is like my first review and I'm just probably all over the place because I'm just so excited. This episode was so good. And like I said, it's my first review. And I'm like, I'm just going to get better over time. But like I said, the dude brought Dispo back in the ring and they both beat up. They don't know what to do. Goku in here is too much for them. And they retreat. And it got to a point where he says that 
he's gonna sacrifice himself. He gonna take Goku or no, he gonna take Hit with him. And he tries to do it, and he tries to use his um his little rope attack, but Hit switch go through dimensions again, and boom gets him out. So he gone. Like I said, I forgot his name. I'm terrible with names in Dragon Ball Super because so many characters in Dragon Ball Super now that it's just all these names. But boom, he got him out. He's gone. And then Dispo retreats. He go back up there with Topo and Jiren. And Topo, like, excuse my language, but Topo's pissed. He's tired of the BS. He's done playing. Topo says, it's not about justice no more. It's just about survival or erasure. Topo done playing games. Topo know what he gotta do. He you know he gotta take out Jiren. I mean, he know he gotta take out Hit and Goku. Because Universe 6 and 7 are the twin universes. And the God of Destruction from Universe 11 knows that the two twin universes are teaming up. And Champa was just hilarious this whole thing because he tried to distract the universe, the fighters and all that. And Vado was telling him to chill out because of blood pressure. But that was mostly at the beginning though. But this episode was amazing. And then, like I said, Topo, not, he not playing games no more. And then... He tells Goku that I'm gonna spare you because you helped me out. And Goku was like, "All right, so when we the last two fighting, when we the last two, we gonna sell it." And Jiren's like, "I mean, he was like, okay, sure." So they just walk off, and that was in an episode. We really didn't see nobody else from Universe Seven besides Goku. We didn't see Frieza. We didn't see Vegeta. We didn't see Piccolo. We didn't see um, Tien, and we didn't see none of them. We just saw Goku hit. D Dispo, the other dude, Jiren, Topo, and Kale and Khalifa. They're, like, they're, the only we, they're the only people we saw. And what's crazy was, I'm kind of backtracking a little bit, but what's crazy was, n not even Zeno could see Dispo move. Well, I'm like, wait a minute. I thought they posed like the strongest out of everybody in the universe. So how can you not see Dispo move? That's kind of, that's kind of weird. But I really didn't question it. But I just kind of thought that they should be able to see anybody movement because they should they are strongest people in the universe like nobody can beat them so how can you not see it but bottles and we saw it but this episode was just the best the super saiyan god returned and it's just oh man oh man oh man i just love this episode i just think it's the best episode out of all the episodes so far but so I, I, I like the other i forgot what episode was like i said most terrible episodes but i like the episode goku and vegeta teamed up i like the last episode when gohan got his time to shine and all that. I just, this arc is gonna be amazing. I just love how they bring in some kind of, like, I just love how they bring in concepts from the manga and bring it to the anime. Like, in the manga, cause like, also another thing, in the manga, Vegeta did this strategy that Goku did in the anime. Vegeta, in the manga against Goku Black, Vegeta started off the Super Saiyan God, and the moment that he striked, he popped the Super Saiyan Blue, where in the anime, Goku did it. So I like how they, I like how they do that. Like, Goku, Vegeta did that in the anime, I mean the manga, and then Goku do it in the anime. Like, just like, if you guys didn't see the manga, where we did, in the manga, they just started the universal art, the universal art. In the universe, in the manga, Vegeta trained with Whis, and then the anime, Goku trained with Whis. So it's like, I just love how they're doing that little transition from Vegeta doing one thing in the manga, and then Goku doing it in the anime, or Vegeta doing it in the anime, and Goku doing it in the manga. I just love how they're doing that. It's just so, it's so cool how they're bringing things from the manga to the anime. So let me know down in the comment section, what do you like? Do you like the manga, or do you, or do you like the anime, or do you like both? Because I like both. I just love how you just, I love how they, they both are the same thing, but just they just show different details and all that. And they're just bringing things from the manga to the anime. It's just, it's just amazing. I'm just so happy that they brought Super Saiyan God back. Because we've seen it in the manga, and I was just waiting for them to bring it to the anime. And I'm just like, come on, where's Super Saiyan God at? We know he got it. We know Goku can transform the Super Saiyan God. Hey, we even know Vegeta can transform the Super Saiyan God because of the manga. So we just waiting for Vegeta to transform the Super Saiyan God. So I hope he does it in the universe. I hope he does it in the anime, like in the in this tournament. Like I hope he does Super Saiyan God. So because it's confirmed, Vegeta knows Super Saiyan God, but we just don't. We haven't seen him transform in the anime, and I want him to do it so bad because Vegeta is my favorite character, and I want him to see. I want to see him do Super Saiyan God so bad. I want to just see how it looks on the anime. We already know how it looks on Goku. I just want to see. I'm ready to see how it looks on Vegeta. But yeah, next episode is the episode 105, Master Roshi Make a Sacrifice. It's just going to be crazy. It's going to be real crazy, and I just can't wait for next episode. And I just can't wait for more episodes of Dragon Ball Super. But like I said, if you guys enjoyed this, the first episode of Dragon Ball, a review of Dragon Ball Super, just hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And yeah, guys, this has been Drapa, and I'll see you guys later.
Peace.